right, you guys wanted me to look at the Matt Walsh being a weirdo stuff. So here's Matt Walsh being a weirdo stuff. Friend of the show, Lance, uh, tweeted this. Uh, you probably know that if you're on Twitter. And <laughs> Matt Walsh being creepy. I guess the context of this is newly surfaced video of Matt Walsh has him giving extremely horrifying horrifying views on consent, rape, the age of consent, and has him defending multiple pedophiles, including Cardinal McCarrick, stating the victim should have been able to defend themselves. I don't know who Cardinal McCarrick is, so I'll look that up. Cardinal McCarrick? Mc... What's that? Oh. Oh. Catholic stuff. No wonder I missed it. Uh, Elias-sized? Whoa. Very bright. <coughs> Theodore Edgar McCarrick is a, a, a liasized, a loss of clerical status. Uh, American Bishop Cardinal. Or, uh, so I'm assuming he fucking, yeah, he was accused of engaging in sexual misconduct with adult male seminarians or, over the course of decades. Although multiple reports about McCarrick's alleged conduct with adult seminarians were made to be American bishops. Uh, alleged of se- allegations of sexual abuse against minors were not known until 2018. Oh, of course not. They weren't known until 2018, you see. Anyway, this is Matt Walsh. Minds, we have really two categories. There are non-consensual sex, which is bad, and then we have consensual sex, uh-huh. which we think is always good. Yes. Consensual sex is always good. <laughs> not a hot take. Pretty, Pretty simple stuff. If you are having consensual sex, it's a good thing. Because that means you're consenting to be there, and sex is fun. That's what we. That's what we've. That's what the culture says. That's what we. A lot of us have. Uh, most of us, it seems like that's the idea that we have. It's like as long as they're consenting adults who uh-huh. choose to do this thing, then it must be okay. Yeah, the beard does look like a prop. I don't know why. Like it's the line here. <laughs> uh, yeah, if two adults decide to do a thing together, that's that's fine. They can do that. Uh, that's what freedom is, Matt. I live in America. I'm an American man with American man needs. And one of those needs is is eagles. Another one is guns. And then there's freedom, okay? If I don't have them, eagles, American guns, and freedom, America, and freedom, and guns. And I, just, I, just, I just, you know, I flip, my, I flip my shit, okay? It grinds my gears. Can't do it. Also, very happy that Matt Walsh got his start as a guy in the car with the sunglasses on making videos parked on the fucking side of the street (laughs) in his obviously shitty car. Uh, But what he did, a trendsetter, the reason he made it big, okay? Take notes, chuds. The reason he made it big, it's not a vertical video. He put his phone on the side because he's decent. You can trust Matt. He he does does the full aspect ratio. Now that is a trustworthy fascist. But the reality is that there's a lot of bad sex. There's a lot of immoral sex. There's a lot of dis... He's got a little fucking notebook down here and his little pen on here. What a fucking dweeb. Imagine taking notes on things. Ha! Couldn't be me. Yeah, he has a lab mic too. That's big stuff. Yeah. Disordered, gross, harmful sex that is nonetheless consensual. Yeah. Gross, harmful sex is... It's hot, chat. Gross and harmful sex, very hot when you're consenting to it. Get after it, dude. You know what I mean? Hey, look. Just because it takes Matt no time at all to come doesn't mean that's what I'm dealing with. So sometimes Papa needs a little bit of extracurricular activity. Just because you think it's gross, I mean, whatever. Feels good to me. All of the cases that i mentioned all the cases i mentioned Mm -hmm. um they're all it must be earlier in the video moral bad gross harmful Uh uh-huh but they're not all rape some of them were not all of them what's why why do we i have i have a question why are we uh are we nitpicking are we nitpicking well it's not technically rape And until we acknowledge that there are other ways to have immoral sexual relations with a person, until like we reclaim sexual morality and I do, Anika. sexual boundaries, 
we will be stuck trying to condemn all bad sex on the grounds of consent, which expands the idea of consent consent. so broadly as to render it meaningless. So that that when we really need it, when there is actual non-consensual sex happening, Uh we, we don't have any meaningful way to describe it because the word consent has has become to is 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 increasingly means nothing because we've expanded it so much huh yeah this is creep stuff uh i replied to matt walsh about this because he quote tweeted uh the thing and i don't really you know you probably didn't see it because you don't follow matt walsh (laughs) but uh I just stand by it. I mean, the, the the only reason he has a problem with consent and the idea of consent is because he's a little he's a little freak, dude. He's he's the only one that has issues with this. People in these consenting relationships that he's not part of, right? Because th- this is what it comes down to, right? Matt Walsh doesn't want you to do stuff he wouldn't do because so, it makes uh, him it makes him uncomfortable or whatever. Uh, it makes him. Oh, this is this is on his old channel. Uh, yeah, I might keep it. I might keep it. Um, <laughs> he's not going to do it. He finds it distasteful, and then the Bible or whatever tells him that you know you, you got to tell other people to to keep their pussies shut and their dicks in their pants because that's bad stuff. And fuck is God? Who gives a shit? Right? It's we have freedoms. So the whole point is like do whatever you want. I don't give a fuck as long as you're consenting because like his basis is of course uh, not lodged within any any meaningful reality the reality is that people believe that this thing can be immoral that's fine you don't have to do the thing but you can't police other people on what they get to do because there's no secular reasoning behind not allowing people to like spank each other with paddles while they fuck i don't like or whatever he's mad about you know what i'm saying there's like oh you want to be kept in a cage like a little pet i'm listening but he's against it, and uh, then you're then you're an immoral person. You're you're immoral, and we don't like you. And you can't you can't do that. And that you know if that's you know I mean if if, if there's if there's little boys not saying no to priests, well I mean then I, I guess how can you say that someone saying yes to being beat up is consent? It's just it's all wacky. It's what he's doing. He's obfuscating like deviant sex. With raping kids and saying like, well, and you know, there's a gray area. Solid, Matt. And we've cr- turned it into this complicated equation is it? where nobody really knows when consent is happening. And even if a person does something willingly and is like, yes, let's do this. And but even that might not be consent because we've turned consent into this super confusing uh, calculus. Mind calculus. Uh, it isn't really. If you've ever had sex with anybody for any prolonged period of time, okay? If you're a a person who sexes, you will inevitably have conversations. If you're healthy and you are in these spaces, you'll inevitably have conversations about consent. Hey, can I do this? Can I do that? Do you like it when I do that? Is it okay if I this? And that's consent. All you need really in these com- contexts is prior consent. And even in the moment, you can just be like, no, yes, maybe, let's try it. There's all sorts of things. Ah, I don't really like that. That's okay. We don't have to do that. Like, these are malleable. They're not. They're not calculus. It's just talking to somebody. It's like not confusing at all. No clue, no clue why anybody would have problems with this. Uh, he go, he goes on. There's there's more clips. We'll watch a couple of these clips. I'm not gonna watch the whole video. It's 20 minutes long, but because we're watching another Walsh later. But we'll watch this. Uh, Walsh goes on to defend Theodore McCarrick, a multiple child rapist, and states his victim should have been able to defend themselves. Then says Asia Argento couldn't have been raped, couldn't have raped a minor, because she's a hundred pound woman and he's a few months away from his 18th birthday. Oh, okay. actresses willingly have sexual relationships with powerful men wow sometimes for years asia argento herself i believe she was in a sexual relationship ongoing with harvey weinstein for like five years 
she 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 kept going back and engaging in this you know in this stuff with him and they do this for the sake of movie roles is that consent to matt coercion is not consent bro do this or else is not at all consensual And it's weird because he thinks the reality of do this or else is a version of consent, but not two people in their bedrooms simulating that power dynamic of abuse and being like, hey, suck my dick or else and slap in someone's face. Not that you would think that was hot. I don't understand what the, why his brain go, can't, can't do this it's it's got to be a chosen stance there's just no way you have this opinion if you're not an abuser you can't not know how the the calculus of this works it's so simple or i guess you're terribly terribly insecure about sex which matt walsh could absolutely be but i think it's the i think it's the first one i think i mean i think it's pretty clear he's had he we did a whole video where he read a book called c is for consent there's an ad for the video right here on YouTube, maybe, if it works. <laughs> and it's just a children's book about teaching kids about consent, which is obviously very good. You want to teach kids consent so they can learn not, you know, learn how to prevent their own abuse or at least learn the language to understand if they are in danger of that, right? Like, no, you can't touch me. I get to say no to adults that are in charge of me. That's really what the idea of consent is, especially at a young age. It has nothing really to do with their exploration of sexuality, which is what he conflates it with. Well, if they can learn consent, then they can learn to do stuff. And it's like telling people that they can't touch you if you don't want to be touched is not really a uh, tacit approval of, of, hey, kids, go make out together. Anyway, you should watch that video. It's fucking, he's silly. And so on. And for more, you know, power and clout in the industry. And then years later, after getting what they want out of it, they claim that they were being assaulted the entire time. And in the Catholic Church, you have um, you have some cases where, uh, like cases involving Cardinal McCarrick. You hear about Cardinal McCarrick and, and the controversy surrounding him. Now, there are accusations that he molested children. Uh-huh. So, you know, that's in that category. But then, but then That's in that category? What do you mean? Anyone who's like, well, he molested some kids, but that's what we, that's this over here. Is like, you've lost the fucking plot, Matt. Well, the person to whom some boss says do this or else could choose not to do the thing, right? What? Uh, I don't know what, I don't know what the question is. I don't know if it's like formed correctly, but uh, essentially, yeah, you, you get to say no to people. Like, that's what consent is. A lot of the accusations you hear about McCarrick and and also with other, you know, some of these other things as well. These are, in some cases, he's having sex with seminarians. These are grown men who he allegedly lured into bed and then had sex with. But Uh as a... He's a cardinal in the Catholic Church. You don't think there was coercion involved in their sexual relationship? If they report it, then I i mean, sure. But this guy's also a fucking child molester. It seems like on track. Grown man, if you let another man lure you into bed. Let me think the consequences are unjust, but so what? Bad things happen. I don't know what you're trying to say, bro. Conservatoids, dad. Are you, are you conservative? What are you trying to ask about consent, man? I got, I got answers for you if you have them. Don't argue with chat. Just focus on me, my friend. And then you... He's saying coerced consent is good. Well, he's going to have to try to explain it. We'll see what happens. Willingly, with no resistance, engage in sex acts with him. Does that belong in the same category as the 12-year-old kids who are raped by men twice their size? I think clearly it doesn't. What? Um, What? And then you also have the accusations against Asia.
that the person who doesn't the thing in fact is consenting to the thing even if the alternative is considered unjust by a third party. That's not how consent works. If I put a gun to your head, if I put a gun to your head and tell you you have to uh, show me your dick and then you show me your dick, that's not consent. That's coercion because I was going to blow your fucking head off if you didn't show me your dick, which is just not or suck my dick or I shoot your your you in the head. Yeah, that's not consent. That's rape. So yeah. And it doesn't have to be that extreme. So the gun example see, you're just dumb. So the gun example, where's the line? What do you mean? If you don't want to do any do something, you don't have to do it. That's that's the line. You it works for everything. He could also say, I'm not gonna give you I'm not going <laughs> to, I don't know, what do you need? Like you're on the ground and he says, suck my dick or I'm not going to help you up from the ground. I mean, are you going to take that deal? No, but if you really needed it, or, like that's not consent. You're not consenting to be, <laughs> to suck his dick. <laughs> like, I don't, under, I don't understand how you don't get it. Let's talk about this for a second. Let's actually talk about it. Pop into the Discord, my friend. I love talking about consent. Especially with dudes who don't understand it. Yeah, you're curious. I, You don't seem very curious, but I would love you to be. Get in the, get in the Discord. Let's do it. Like, it has incredible rapist vibes. I agree. Discord, Discord, Discord. Let's hear it. I'm on air. I'm on it. I am on the air. Well, don't pretend that I don't understand consent. I, I'm not pretending. You definitely don't understand consent. I'm trying to figure out where this line exists between consent and coercion. What are you talking about? If you don't consent to do a thing, you don't consent to do it. That's it. <laughs> you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. And yes, this means capitalism. <laughs> like, like, yes, this is an extrapolation now. There are varying degrees of this thing, but yeah, like, there's no... Like, if you are forced to do things in which you live in a world where you're forced to do stuff all the time through the coercion of violence... It is unethical. And yes, there are aspects of daily society that do this every day. And yes, those are unethical. Something being unethical doesn't mean that they're equally fucking abhorrent. Because I know that your brain was already like, Well, are you saying that rape is just as bad as having to wake up at 9 a.m. to go to work? No. <laughs> I could... S <laughs> no. <laughs> But consent, nonetheless, was violated in that interaction. Are you gonna join? Are you gonna join the Discord, my friend? Let's go! Look at this! Exclamation point Discord. Click that, and then go over to live stream voice. Go over to live stream voice. Click on it. On the left side, and we'll talk. Get in the Discord, it's time for Discord. That's the song for that. Yeah. It's a form of coercion to be forced to do work or have the threat of violence. Yeah, absolutely. These are just institutionalized forms of coercion that uh, we're forced to deal with. I don't do Discord. Wow, I don't do Discord. Okay. Uh, I don't do dumb fucks. All right. More Matt. He's our gentle. We're a guy at 17, legal age, almost ev in, uh, in almost every state in the union. Uh-oh, legal age in almost every state in the union. 
Oh, wow. We're going on technicality here. We're really... We are really hoping that Age of Consent does the legwork here. Um, willingly has sex with this, you know, 100-pound Italian model, making no effort to leave the room or leave the situation. Then he comes back, blackmails her, demands money for it, and gets paid. And now he says he was traumatized by his willing participation in sex acts with a woman when he was a few months away from his 18th birthday. Does that belong in the same category as a woman or a child who gets pinned down and raped by a sex predator? By Matt Walsh. <laughs> oh, wait, I guess we have one more. Uh, because there's indeed now whole vast categories of consensual yet wrong sex, we need to acknowledge that and start talking about that rather than trying to make any everything into sex or assault or rape. Because there is indeed a whole vast category of consensual yet wrong sex. Consensual yet wrong sex. Again. Not really interested in what Matt Walsh thinks is the incorrect way to fuck. Because daddy's gotta come, chat. And I don't think the way Matt Walsh fucks is gonna get me there. And we we, we need to acknowledge that. <laughs> and start talking about that. Rather than trying to um, make everything into assault and rape i hope you very well, assault and rape day. dude discordant vol thank you so much for the 14 months it's not gonna transmit anymore damn dude that sucks car troubles in the winter where is he parked he's talking about rapes outside of a school i don't fucking know he's probably waiting for his kids hey i'm gonna do my rape video right before i uh get my kids <laughs> take them home and make sure that they can't consent to anything He's dog shit, dude. Now, consensual yet wrong sex, that includes a, a lot of different I things. hope you very James DM, thanks for the today. 20 months. Um, this is a category where, you know, you have sex that's transactional. Uh, sex where transactional it's not sex? respecting of human dignity. Transactional sex? Sex workers work. You can have you can do sex work. I would argue that depending on the reason you do sex work, uh, it is it is of course a, the same this uh, under the same umbrella as you were coerced to do X because you were under the threat of violence for, uh, uh, you know, not being able to pay your bills or whatever and surviving under capitalism or whatever. But uh, I don't think like the act itself, like the two people, are necessarily uh, engaging in unethical behavior. Um, although that's to varying degrees. Sex work would exist in the commune for sure. People like to fuck, and it can be transactional. You can also do that with your partner. You can be like, uh, uh, hey, I'll, I'll do this if you do this thing I don't want to do just as like – because I don't know. That's like partners do that from time to time. Uh, it could be you, you do me, I do you. That's a transaction. I don't know, dude. Like I don't <laughs> – I don't understand why we have to nitpick about this. When two people consent to do a thing, it's consent. That's just, I'm sorry, man. Where it's done purely so that both partners can exploit the other for pleasure. Um, or where one partner is exploiting the other for pleasure. And one partner exploits the other for pleasure. In which the pleasure is derived from being exploited. He doesn't understand kink. And the other partner, although they're willingly participating, they are looking for something else out of it. Or, or they think that there's love and devotion involved, but there really isn't. How do you know? This is always, this is always how this shit goes. Because these dudes don't fuck. They have, they have like, salt and pepper <laughs> uh, missionary sex, vanilla stuff, which is fine. You can fuck like that. It's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. You're valid. If that's the way you want to fuck, by God, achieve your dreams. But if you need a little more spice in your life, whatever that is, to whatever extent that is, as long as everybody is consenting, it's ideal. It's exactly the, the kind of sex you should be having. 
even if that means none. If you don't want to have any sex, totally valid. That's not who Matt's worried about, though. <laughs> Matt's not worried about the aces. He's worried about the gays and the transes. And the leftists who engage in some kink. You know. They want passive, submissive blow-up dolls. Do? Hey, look. Some people like to be those things. Your role play is Matt Walsh having bad sex over on the left. Yeah, sure, if you want. Don't do that. 